yeah! So today I feel like learning some new grooves. And who better to steal some thick grooves from than the man, the thick, the legend, Zachary Grooves. If you're like me, then whenever you see a video of Zach playing, you're just like, there's like four phases that I go through. Phase one, stank face. Your immediate reaction is, damn, that's a thick ass beat, in which an involuntary stank face follows shortly after. Phase two, assessment. You begin assessing Zach's playing and sizing yourself up. Could I play this groove? Phase three, counting. You begin trying to count in your head, but quickly realize that you don't have the necessary ear training to understand what the f is actually going on. Phase four, acceptance. Following the assessment, you quickly realize that you, in fact, cannot play this groove. But today we're not going to accept that, okay? Today we're going to pick three grooves and we're going to learn them because we are hardworking and because we have the ability to half the speed of YouTube videos. Okay, so this is the video that Zach posted that made me want to make this video. I saw this groove and I was like, what the f*** is that? And uh, I know it's in seven and the only reason I know that is because of this. Yeah. Being able to slow things down on YouTube like this is amazing because, yeah, you can just slow, slow things down. Good point, Brandon. Okay, so we know the groove is in seven. Uh, should I put notation up here? Yeah. Hey, Brandon, can we get some notation down at the bottom? Like if we... Yeah, just... Like this kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so from slowing the groove down, I was able to decipher kind of the sticking patterns that Zach is using here. This groove is basically based around the paradiddle diddle. So the first six notes are paradiddle diddle. And then he adds two kicks at the end of that. And he does that twice. That's where the backbeat is. Right there. And then that snare is the only, what, eighth note, if you want to call it? Is this in six? Yeah, it's in sixteenth note. So this snare is the only eighth note in the entire groove. So you're kind of going to think there's a rest after the sixteenth note. And then you do another paradiddle diddle with the kicks. I think. Nope, that's when he does the hi-hat thing. So then he does... And that's the last four notes of the groove. I did the kick instead. That's it. And then when he comes around, he doesn't hit the kick on the one anymore. He only hits the kick on the one on the first bar. So. It's hard to do it clean, cleanly. I don't know how fast he does it. Dude. He's doing this at 220 beats per minute. That's, that's actually insane. All right. Uh, there's no way. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start at 100 BPM. Let's go 160. It's so terribly sloppy. It's tough when you get up to those speeds. I'm really using the flex of the stick to get those doubles like that. All right, let's try 180. I think we're getting close to my limit here. Wow, dude, that's 
like that's like my limit right there. I'm pushing the boundary. The thing is, Zach, he makes it look so easy, and I look like I'm trying to take the fattest shit in the world, and it also sounds like shit is being spread all across the drum set. So, so disgusting. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, yeah, that's just such a nasty groove, actually. I feel like you could bang to Zach's drumming. Okay, so first impressions, I don't notice any weird time signatures about this. Just kind of like the accents and the phrasing is what makes this so pleasing, I think. Well, it starts off boom, boom, one and. And then the second kick is uh, after the one E. Right there, one E. Right after that downbeat. Yeah, that's uh, that's how I think of it. One and. He's doing like a shuffle kind of thing. And then the last one he goes. Yeah. Wait. I'm just gonna try and do this by looking at it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna notate it. You guys can see it right now, but I can't see it yet. Three hits in a row. He goes ghost, ghost, snare. What? And there's a kick right after. No. That's it. Ah. Nope. Nope. Oh, fuck, dude. Triple thing is so hard. So I think the point is just to sit here and hash it out. I've kind of worked through it, but it's a whole fucked up sticking pattern. I don't know what patterns are going on, but I just learned it by ear. So that's it. By the way guys, lately I've been using these Drumeo eardrums. They actually just got them back in stock. Uh, apparently they sold out. These are triple driver headphones. They come with a sick little carrying case. I used them on my gig in Switzerland and they sounded fantastic. So uh, go ahead and click the link in the description below if you wanna check these out. All right, for the last groove, let's pick something from Zach's Instagram. Okay. I, I, this is one of those groups that I, I have trouble listening to and hearing exactly what's going on. I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. All right, so I can't figure out the groove. I can't slow down Instagram videos. So I'm gonna call Zach and see if he'll help me learn the groove. Yeah, yeah what's up? What's up, dude? I'm good. Hey, I need your help. For what? Why are you calling me for, man? I'm trying to check it. I'm trying to learn this groove from your Instagram. Ah, ah, this groove. The whole whiskey cup on the floor top groove. 
<laughs> yes. Ah, ah, you see, Brandon. You see, with this particular group, Brandon, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my own Brandon Scott video, this is huge. This is crazy. That, that groove originally was like, was like something like this, right? Right. I said, okay, everyone does that. What happens if you, like, just move the left hand to the snare drum? Okay, that sounds a bit more fresh. Right. Everyone does that, too. What happens if we move the right hand on the snare drum? Okay, that sounds okay, but what happens if we just mix them all together, right? We start going... It's so it's so funny that you it's actually such a simple concept. Now that you say that and you showed it to me that way, it totally makes sense now. Alright. Let's try and learn this shit. Drum lesson with Zach Grooves. How much hey, how much do I owe you at the end of this? None. Nothing. No, nothing? Yeah, you did my freaking YouTube cover. cover. <laughs> That's right, you fing owe me, bitch. Okay, so we're stuck piece by piece. Hang on, do it one more time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hang, hang on a sec, hang on. Let me just uh, try it from listening to what you just did. So it's like... Uh, that's the next two accents. It's like... That's the ones you were hitting, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so you're doing like a right flam. That's it. Yeah. yeah, but that right accent matches the bass drum, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. All right. Can we try it again? Yeah, one more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the tricky part. Okay. What's happening there, dude? <laughs> That's so nasty, man. One more time. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, you fucking dirty, dude. You're dirty. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I forgot the whole thing now. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Hang on. I got it. I got it.
that's what the next one's gonna be. Yeah, totally. Because it's kind of just like you're you're doing right, left, right, left for the last four, but you can put diddles or accent. Yeah, you can do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, f dude, it's so sick. All right, hang on. You're sick. I'm gonna kiss you. <laughs> Give me like two minutes. I'm just gonna process it and see, uh, no see how how I can get it. That fucking shit. With drums, sometimes once it like locks, it like that one time it fucking locks. Yeah. Dude, that feels so good to play. And it's so fun. Bro. It's so fun to play. <laughs> and I'm glad that you were able to like break down and stuff because some there's some drummers you know who like they can play that shit, but they like don't know what they're actually playing, you know. That um, was me the first five minutes of this call. <laughs> uh, I guess so. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Big shout out to Zach. Thank you for blessing us with all of these beautiful grooves uh, and showing me one for yourself. If you guys aren't familiar with Zach's YouTube channel, I'll put a link to it up here. Uh, he's quite possibly one of my favorite YouTubing drummers, drumming YouTubers. Also, if you guys do want to check out those Drumio in-ears I was using, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, also, there's another link for 30 days free of Drumio. Okay, so if you want free lessons, you want to check out what the website's about, it's free. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. These What's Practice videos are probably one of my favorite videos to do because I'm learning something and you guys get to see me mess up. It's like really vulnerable and I really like that. If you guys have any grooves or fills or songs that you want me to try and decipher or learn, uh, put it in the comments below and I will check them out. All right, I'm tired of squatting, so I'm done. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.